weeks ago, I think, I did a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to uh, do a product on Google. Uh, to do Google Ads to sell products on Amazon, okay? I did a step-by-step -step breakdown of that. And so this is kind of a follow-up question to that. So uh, this is, I mean, Google AdWords, by the way, gives you absolutely awesome data. So with this data, here's the people who are clicking on uh, one of my ad groups for one of my products, okay? So I now know that the majority of clickers are between the ages of 35 and 54, which I can then use on Facebook to target my advertising better. Let's look at gender. I also know that majority of my clickers are female. So if I'm going to be launching my product on Facebook, I would then do females between the ages of 35 to 54, I could target directly like that. I could also target with household incomes in the USA on Facebook. I can target with that. You can't in Australia, not yet, but you will be able to very, very soon as Facebook starts selling its data to Amazon in Australia and much, much more. So you've got some cool shit you can do. However, let's just go back a step and look at our ad groups. What am I on? And let's do this one because this has got the most clicks. So you can see the keywords I am bidding on for this particular thing. Now, here's what's important for, you, for me to tell you. I don't know if you can remember this, but when I went through the how to set up your Google AdWords for uh, your Amazon products, the f level one of your keywords that I told you to do was your main buying keyword plus the word Amazon so that you could get anybody who's looking to buy your product on Amazon, your advert would show up and that is the very, very best person to put your advert in front of, okay? They are the very, very best person to do that. Now, when I first set this campaign up, that's exactly what I did. I did that. However, I found for this campaign that we weren't getting many impressions. We weren't getting many impressions for that search term. Keto Diet Shake, Amazon, for instance. And so what we did was we took out the word Amazon to lift the impressions. Now what that does is it lowers the quality of traffic going to my listing. It lowers the quality of traffic going to my listing because now I don't know if they want to buy my product. I don't know that. I also don't know if they want to buy my product specifically from Amazon. I don't know that either, okay? So it's a lower quality click, but I get more of them. And this is the game that we play on Google. We play to come back to David's analogy here, we play impressions versus clicks. Now, what the hell are impressions? Let me show you. Let's just go over to Google. So here we are on Google. Let's just search for something uh, like vitamin C serum. So here is, you can see it says it right there, add. Here is an advert set up through Google Ads, okay? So whoever is iHerb, uh, they are running Google Ads on the search term vitamin C serum, okay? So their ha ad, I have now seen it. Therefore, Google records that as an impression. So an impression is, when somebody searches for your ad, sorry, searches for your search term, and Google shows your advert, one impression has been recorded, okay? That's what that means. So impressions, number of times that my advert has been shown for that exact match search term. Hope that makes sense. So 2,400 in the last, what, month, something like that. 
So there's that. Next, let's come back here. Because the next thing you've got to think of is clicks. So I've got the advert here. No money has been spent yet until I click like that. And now I'm going through to the website where I can go and work out if I want to buy the product. That is a click. And now iHerb has just spent some money to acquire that click. Clicks. Cost per click, CPC, 74 cents is what I'm paying per click. Okay, 74 cents per click. I've had 240 people click on my adverts at a cost of $182. Okay, the number of people who see my advert impressions, 2,407, versus click on my advert, 246 clickers, is the click through rate, the click through rate, CTR. Typically, most companies are very, very happy to have a CTR of between 1 and 3%. 1 and 3%. I am not happy at that. And typically, the ads that I set up get at least 10% and up to 20%, which is very important. But that's for another time. So, David, how do you refine your search terms? How do you refine your phrases? Well, it's a process of, first thing you've got to do with any marketing is put your advert in front of the right people. Impressions. That's impressions, okay? You've got to put your advert in front of the right people. The more people you put your advert in front of, the more likely you are to make sales. And that's just marketing 101, okay? The more people you put your advert in front of, the more likely you are to make sales. But the quality of those people really matters, which is where our search term comes in. So you're balancing a fine line between getting a lot of impressions and getting your impressions from people that are going to buy your product. And that's the fine line that we balance on Google AdWords. Now, here's the problem. We are not able to tell which of those clicks, these ones here, convert into sales. We don't know that information because we're not able to get that information from Amazon. So we are pissing in the wind. That's the technical term. We're pissing in the wind. However, that's why we make sure that our search terms are very, very targeted. Keto Diet Shake, Amazon being the best iteration of that. Anybody that searches for that and clicks on your ad is a very good prospect to buy your product. And that's, so that's how we work it out. So, David, I don't know if that's really helped you. But my strategy is this, if I'm not getting, I start with impressions, if I'm not getting many impressions, I firstly inc increase the cost of my bid, which would increase the cost of my cost per click. I do that first. If that still doesn't work, I broaden out the search phrase. In this instance, I took off the word Amazon. That makes the quality of my searches lower, but it increases the amount of people I get my advert in front of. As I said, it is a balancing act and unfortunately, Amazon doesn't give us the data. So it's a bit of a crap shot. <coughs> uh, thank you, Arnett, for that lovely feedback. Conversions don't look too flash. Well, I don't, I don't have any conversions here. Yeah, there's zero conversions because I'm not able to get any conversion data from Amazon. You, it, the way that you get conversion data in Google AdWords is you put a Google AdWords pixel on your success page on Amazon. Now, will Jeff let you do that? No, he won't. Therefore, you cannot get conversion data for your Google AdWords account, which sucks, but that's just what it is. So yes, my conversions are shit house, as they say. I believe that's a technical term. Uh, <laughs> what does conversion mean? In this instance, it would mean sale. 
But again, we don't we don't get to have conversion data. We can't get conversions. Um, and there's a there's a whole new thing I could go into about that, but I won't because it's just too fucking geeky, too bloody geeky, should I say? It's too bloody geeky, so uh, I won't go into that. But we can't get conversions. It's just the way it is. Same for Facebook as well. Facebook, we can't get conversion data on Facebook. It's just the way it is. You just can't get that. So you are, the only way you can get conversion data on Amazon is with Amazon PPC. So that's the only way you can get it. It sucks, but it's just the way it is. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.